What's up, Scorpio? It's your girl, Sierra from Savvy Sintian, and welcome to your September 2022 general reading. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Disclaimer, before we get into the video, this is not, and I repeat, not a love and light channel. If you are looking for sunshine and rainbows, goody-goody gumdrops and whatnots, this is not the place for you. If you're looking for a reader who's going to lie to you, again, this is not the place for you. However, if you are looking for the truth, serve straight up, just like the libations that we pour for our ancestors. This is the place, and I am your girl. Welcome. Scorpio, if you are new here and you are still here, congratulations, you've made it past the disclaimer. Please make sure that you like, share, and subscribe so that you can be notified whenever new readings occur. And also, congratulations for being a real one. Thank you. Um, Scorpio, if you are not new here and you've been here, You've been a real one, and it's because of you that this channel continues to grow and flourish. So thank you so much. Looking for personal readings? SavvySentient.com is where you'll book. All that information is in the description box below, along with all the cards I'm using in this reading and even where I get my trip. So uh, take a look at the description box. Okay. Anyway, let's get into your reading. All right. So during the channeling session for your energy, Scorpio... Um, I was initially met with a very um, kind of somber, feminine kind of energy, a uh, really sad, uh, head down, like kind of swaying, like a really somber kind of energy. And then a masculine energy came through. And the message was that you're the only one who can fix what's broken. You have the sole solution. Okay? You are the only one who can fix what, what's broken. You have the sole solution okay so immediately what i'm getting is that divine masculine this energy this divine masculine energy um is saying that you have the solutions okay that whatever the the divine feminine whether it's within you or whether it's apart from you um whatever it is that they are going through you have the answers so let's see what this is in reference to, okay? So, spirit, speak to me, speak through me. What's the overall energy here for Scorpio? Okay, seven of pentacles in reverse. So when the seven of pentacles is in reverse, this can indicate that something that's being overlooked this can also indicate that something that's not working out or that maybe there's just not enough effort being put towards something in order for the results that you are hoping for to be a result okay so that is the overall energy and at the bottom of the deck is the nine of cups so yeah if you're having a difficult time uh bringing in some type of wish fulfillment, making something happen for yourself or even making something happen for others, there is a solution that you are overlooking, okay? So let's see what's happening here and take it as it resonates. This could be a uh, love, work, friendships, family situations. Um, just take the messages as they resonate. What's happening with Scorpio here, Spirit? We have the Knight of Swords coming out first. The Lovers. Okay. The Three of Swords. Yikes, what's happening? The Tower. What is happening, Scorpio? The Eight of Pentacles with the Page of Swords. The Eight of Wands with Temperance. Okay, and three more cards, please, Spirit. 
Eight of Swords. The Hangman. And the Six of Pentacles. So we have the Six, Seven, and Eight of Pentacles showing up here. We also have two other eight, three other eights. Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So I do feel like this may be in reference to some type of relationship, not necessarily um, romantic, but definitely could be with the lovers present. But it looks like there is a conversation that needs to take place in reference to some type of heartbreak. There's been something very disappointing that has happened either to you or someone close to you. And whatever, it feels like news. It feels like someone received some type of news that was very heartbreaking and that kind of shook this person. So I really don't feel like it's you. I feel like it's someone close to you. But if this is you, like spirit is saying that you have the solution. Like you can fix whatever is happening wrong in your life. But if this is not you, the answer is still you. Like you can help whoever this is who is experiencing this turbulent time. It feels like it's a very difficult time for someone. Eight of Pentacles with a Page of Swords. With the Page of Swords, I'm getting like onlooker energy. Like you are watching this person and you're watching how I want to say how hard they've worked on something or um, I don't know why I'm hearing addiction someone um, whatever this news is has triggered them because it's so heartbreaking, it could be a death, but it's kind of like it's undoing or they might be on the brink of undoing all the work that they put in towards recovery, okay? So if this is addiction, they've been working really hard to, to you know, get on the road to recovery or they've made a lot of progress on that road to recovery and whatever this news is is kind of making them teeter-totter mm. tell me about the three of swords and the tower the three of swords first please ten of pentacles with the ace of pentacles This has something to do with family. There's some type of heartbreaking news that comes in about family. And I feel like whatever it is, it's something that's been a long time coming or happening for a long time. It's giving um, some type of abuse or pain or something that's been uh, exposed. And I, I feel like um, whoever this person is, they want help with what's being exposed in this time. Tell me about the tower spirit. The Hermit and the Six of Wands is coming out for the Tower energy. 
So I feel like this person is um, kind of pulling back, kind of going within themselves, maybe isolating themselves because they feel like that's the only way that they'll either get recognized or that they will get help. The newspaper on this card says military retreats and all recovery missions are abandoned. Now, I said something a minute ago about recovery. Whatever this is, oh my gosh, whatever this is, whatever news has been revealed, whatever. I'm hearing sirens now and I was just about to say that I feel like someone was released from jail. So what I'm getting is that whoever this feminine energy is, someone who has harmed her, someone who has abused her, she may have gotten news that someone who harmed her is now out of jail. And I feel like whatever harm, whatever abuse that that was is the reason why she got into um, these coping mechanisms, you know, whether it's drinking or, you know, drugs, whatever it is. But now that she has gotten this information that, you know, this person is free, it's kind of making her spiral. And it's kind of making her um, want to, to go back and retreat into this place where she feels safe. And that safe place is, you know, the place that she goes to whenever she's high or whenever she's drunk. Okay, let's keep going. The next two cards are the Eight of Wands with the Temperance energy. This is fast moving communication. This is travel with the Temperance card being healing and patience. Um, I feel like this is where you come into the equation, Scorpio. Um, the Eight of Wands, this is texting, calling. I feel like a wellness check needs to be done. I feel like this person feels overlooked. That was the seven of pentacles energy in the beginning of the reading. This person feels overlooked. This person feels uh, forgotten. This person feels like justice wasn't served for them because why is this person getting off scot-free after however many years of pain that they endured at the hands of this person, why is it that they just get to be free? You need to come in and give them a shoulder. You need to come in and give them um, some type of, of a lifting energy, some type of support, okay? But for you... It's like, how do I do that? This may be someone who you've tried to support before. This may be someone who um, didn't really accept your help before. So with the Eight of Swords energy, I feel like you're like, but how? But how? How do I help them? Eight of Swords clarifying. Nine of Swords. This is someone that you really worry about. This is someone that you really worry about. So whether it's their, you know, abuser getting out of jail, whether it's like whatever this difficult news is, it's causing them to spiral. And I feel like this is a person that you've chosen, Scorpio, to love at arm's length. Because it's like no matter how much you try to help them, the help is either not appreciated or doesn't help. Like it doesn't make them change. It doesn't make them get on the straight and narrow. 
So you do worry about them, but you're like, I've tried to help and it's gotten nowhere. Mm. But with the hangman energy here, that's changing your perspective. I feel like putting yourself in their shoes, what is it that you would want? What is it that you would need in the situation? I feel like you've been trying to help them in a way that you would want to be helped. But you haven't tried helping them in a way that they would like to be helped. You haven't put yourself in their shoes before. Clarify the hangman. Judgment. Changing your perspective. Putting yourself in their shoes is going to bring you... An epiphany is going to bring you some type of clarity. And six of pentacles energy at the bottom of the deck, well, at the end of the reading. Um, that clarity is going to show you exactly how you can help. When you put yourself in their shoes, you're going to see exactly how you can help. So don't give up on this person now. I know that you're probably very close to it. I know that is probably very frustrating. Um, definitely feel like this is someone very close to you. We have the Three of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So community, this could be a really good friend. This could be um, a family as well, family member. But if this is a family member, this is like the favorite cousin or like the favorite aunt. Like it feels like family within family. You know, you know how you make those little groups within your family. Like, oh, yeah, my family, but this is my family right here. Like, I feel like this is who that is. Like, someone that you love very dearly. Okay, so change your perspective. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to the monology. What's the messages for Scorpio? Communication is key. New moon and Gemini. All right, so yeah, definitely reach out to this person. We did have the Eight of Wands and the Knight of Swords, both cards of communication, both cards of fast communication. So don't just wait until, you know, you're in the neighborhood. Like, call them, text them, check in with them frequently, and just see what they need. Your hard work is paying off. Oh, so even if you feel like all your efforts are going in vain, they're not. I feel like they're reaching this person. Like they do understand that you care about them, that you have been trying to help them. Um, it's just that the demons that they're fighting are just a little bit bigger than and a little bit closer. You have to remember that this is, you know, a personal battle that they're dealing with. But they're, they, they, they see you. They see your effort. They know that you're there. They feel you. And I just feel like there is a need for you to reiterate that. There's a need for you to um, affirm that, okay? Even if you've been loving them from a distance, they need to know that you're still present, okay? Whoa, too many. Hmm. And coming out together, full moon in Scorpio, it's time to release negative energy and expect powerful change. You may have built up some type of resentment from always trying to help and always feeling like this person is taking your help for granted or is not receiving it, whatever the case is. But it's time to put all of that aside. Um, one of the other cards that wanted to come out is... Um, to not be prideful, the I think it's like the full moon in Leo, but like don't let pride get in your way. And I feel like that's very much, you know, applicable here as well. So as soon as you release the negative feelings that you have towards helping this person, um, as soon as you, you know, put your pride to the side and, and continue to give them a chance, the sooner that you remind them, affirm for them that you are here, then you're going to see 
change within him. Okay, you are going to see progress happen in real time for them. You're you are personally going to gain a sense of accomplishment. Um, you might low key feel heroic for being able to get through to this person. So I really feel that it's necessary for you to not give up on this person. Okay. So what is the sacred self care that Scorpio can do for themselves or even with slash for this person? What sacred self care can Scorpio do with and or for this person? Movement. Movement. All right, that's number 36, which reduces down to nine, which is about completion. Okay. So this is your card, and it says movement. The mantra, I feel embodied and empowered to move with strength and grace. Create a clear energy flow throughout your body by introducing a new movement practice into your life. Structured or free-flowing. This could be anything from yoga, walking, king gong, to rock climbing, running, or swimming. Whatever suits your taste. With any movement practice, the most important thing is to tune into how your body is feeling and move in a supportive way. Relish the feeling of being present inside of your miraculous body. Diversify your movement practice so that you can so that you are working all areas of your body. Seek out new or forgotten movement practices to help gently push the boundaries of your comfort zone. It's better to start small than to not start at all. Even if it's just 15 minutes a day, get your body moving in a way that is exhilarating for you. The journal prompt. What movement practice could you try to find? But, girl, what movement practice would you like to try but find excuses not to pursue? Would working through these blocks and moving more freely, how would that make you feel? Um, what I was getting from this is... Whatever, whatever movement practice you're into, yoga, dancing, etc., take this person with you. Earlier in this reading, this person wanted to be alone. They wanted to isolate themselves. And that's not saying impede on their personal space, but it feels like with the tower and the hermit energy, they may do something dangerous or harmful by being alone. Oh gosh. It's probably exactly what you think I'm thinking. This person may want to try not to get demonetized here. <clears throat> Analyze themselves. And they feel like that's freedom. They feel like that's their way to victory. So, um, not saying smother them and watch them at all times, but I'm saying bring them out with you. Uh, go out to the park and do yoga with them. Um, but find ways, okay, I just gotta find ways to help them appreciate life. And while like being in the park, Give attention or direct their attention to the breezes, to the smell of the grass, to the warmth of the sun. I feel like this person is in a very dark place. And Scorpio, you can't give up on them. If you give up on them, then that's it. I don't feel like there's too many people who care for them in the way that you do. Mm. Don't give up on them, Scorpio. All right, 
crystal spirits. What message? What crystal spirit has a message for Scorpio today? Amber. Number three. All right, so the essential meaning of this card is healing family patterns, releasing karma, preserving the wisdom gained by the lessons of the past. The families we come into as infants and the ones we grow up in offer us experiences that yield gifts, lessons about love, about resilience and forgiveness and about our own power to leave behind the old ways and embrace the new. Our current families do this too. By exploring our relationship with family members, we can discover our own strength and wisdom. Amber Spirit is here with a message to reconnect with the wounded story you still recount, one that is a legacy of your family. Can you heal this story and instead tell one from a perspective of love? How beautiful is it to alchemically change the experience of family? This way you may receive and give love within a family as defined by the heart and the magic of the conscious universe, who sends people your way to make sure you have the caring and affection you need and deserve. Friends can be new family. Reflect today on the love that you have created for yourself and how precious you are. A gem like no other. Reflect on the family surrounding you. The guides and manifestations of the conscious universe here to support you and send love, love, and then some more love. Look to those who choose to offer you this gift, for they are your human and animal family. Draw strength from knowing that, the, that love shows up always to bring you what was missing in your own family in the past. This balm is available to heal the family wound that has hurt for too long. Mm. So again, we're being called to family. This could be a friend that you consider family. This could literally be family within family, like your favorite cousin. But this is someone who you, like I said, hold very dearly. And everything that that card said about love, I feel like is something that you need to reflect to that person, okay? That you are their family, that you are here for them, that you do love them, that you are here to support them, and that no matter how bad it gets, you will love them, you will be here for them, you will be their support okay this reading here i didn't know it was gonna get heavy like this but let's go ahead and get to give the advice in the postcard from spirit then i'm gonna have to clear this energy <laughs> but wow okay what's the advice here for scorpio The very first card that comes out for the advice is your own energy, death, death, rebirth. Let old cycles die. Let old thought patterns die. Let anything from the past, let it go and start new. And I feel like that's in reference to this person. Anytime you tried to try to help them and it didn't work, if they wild out, if they spaz, if they, you have to understand that they are not in a place mentally, spiritually, where that help is always received uh, in the way that you'd hope. Okay. 
So whatever has happened up until this point, let that go. Let it die. It's a new day. Okay? Don't talk yourself out of this. Five of Swords energy. Um, don't talk yourself out of this based on the past. Okay? What's done is done. Keep on trying. Keep on pushing with this person in spite of the obstacles. In spite of the obstacles that you're going to inevitably face, okay? And judgment card. The judgment card is about renewal, okay? And I feel like this is saying don't give up on this person until they get to a place where they are reborn, where they are renewed. And you can both move on from this. The Six of Swords is there. And then as I look down, the Three of Pentacles, you can both move on from this. Um, but you just have to help them. That's all. They just need your help. Okay? So postcard from Spirit. And it says, Dearest you, we know everything in the universe is perfect, even in its flaws. And we view the creations of spirit in total awe. All is unique yet part of a unity existence. But the human experience is a little different from ours. You tend to have a specific standard for what you consider ideal. And this isn't serving you right now. So forget your idea of perfection and see through our eyes. Allowing things to be as they are without judgment. Don't judge this person. Meet them where they're at. Don't wait until a perfect time or mood to start something. Instead, enter life with all of its flawlessness. You are exactly where you're supposed to be. Let others be who they are too. Imperfect and human, complex or simple, it doesn't matter. For you are, for there is always something to discover, experience, and love. When you drop the need for an ideal, you uncover the real treasure, which will be far more interesting and valuable. Loving you like crazy. And I feel like this speaks to what you believe like the ideal path to healing or helping this person looks like versus what you've experienced. And because it's not going, that's what's made you want to give up on them before. But again, you have to meet them where they're at. And you have to leave the past in the past when it when it comes to this situation and when it comes to helping this person okay now i understand that we can't save everyone um i'm not even an advocate for trying to expend all of your energy on people who don't want to be helped but i feel like spirit is giving you this message because this person actually does want the help they are at the point where it's either change or get up and get themselves out of here if you understand what i'm saying so i kind of feel like this is the last hurrah this is like the last chance for this person to get right and they truly want it they truly want to be better okay so scorpio don't give up on them yet well that is your message if this resonates and you would like to share, let me know in the comments below. Please make sure that you all like, share, and subscribe. If this resonated way too much and you would like to get a personal reading, SavvySentian.com is where you book. And until the very next time that I read for you, I'm wishing you all love and light. Now, go get right and go get your friend right. And I'll see you all on the next one. Bye.